Hey, welcome back to the channel. Um, last time we were uh, uh, working on we were working on the uh, getting the hinges installed here. So I'm going to show you um, show you how I'm doing that process. Ah, a little coffee, um, and then uh, I've got I've got my floorboard out um, so we can work with the rudder pedals. So like I mentioned uh, last time, I actually had the uh, I had this on the wrong side because of the hinge orientation. It actually goes in this way, and uh, where the flat spot is on the left side of the uh, stab and rudder. And when I did it from the other side, I actually had it this way, which means these holes and these holes would in Inevitably, is that a word? Inevitably, um, they wouldn't line up. There's no chance that they would be where they need to be. This is as close as I'm going to get as long as I keep the orientation the same all the way through. Um, just from experience, these holes are off. Um, the well, I'm center punching two black lines, and I'm never going to punch two of them the same. So they're close, but they're not exact. Okay, anyway, um, so what I've decided to do is just kind of hold it in place while the, uh, um, and actually start the hole with the uh, drill, and then I'll go to the drill press, and we can, uh, we can work from there, so uh, let me get this, uh, yeah, let me get this set up here. All right, so oh, I should probably show you this. I've got my... 0.8 millimeter ply uh, just tacked with some thin CA um, on both sides so when you put this in you're actually maintaining that uh, that, that distance that you need to um, on either side of the uh, the barrel part of the hinge um, so I'll hold that I'll drill these uh, start out not drill I will start these four holes and then we'll go to the drill press and uh, finish them off so So that gives us a good start for the drill bit on the press to fall in there nicely. So and while we have this hinge, while we have this hinge out, we're gonna mark it to um, um this is the uh, bottom. Um, bottom, rudder, top. Just an orientation for now so we don't lose track. So let's take these uh, over to the drill press. Drilled out. All right, and uh, all I'm doing is uh, I'm using some 
16th inch plywood shims underneath. Um, basically I'm shimming underneath here and underneath here because I've already got the 16th obviously in this location so uh, so I'm getting getting set where my uh, my drill is falling into the previous hole that I drilled which is right there then I'll get my shim underneath this crust this diagonal member and that makes this nice and solid Same for this hole. And we've got those nice and shimmed. Get the drill bread, drill, drill bit in the hole. Test our hinge real quick. Alright, so I've got a couple of uh, Alright, so when I think I'm close, which I can't pull it back out right there, so I think I am close, then I will uh, I will gently feed my drill bit down through here. And that should give me uh, the alignment that I need. There we go. Fell right through. Uh, the hinge method uh, worked out uh, perfectly so um, everything is uh, well aligned and um, the hinges went in like really nicely no no fight and fuss there so good about that got a good solid uh, method down so when we do the four just checking the top stayed nice and straight so when we do the four on the uh, on the um, elevator we've got a system all right all right so based on um, based on me sitting in the plane and figuring out where where my uh, hinges should be, I end up about um, just right at six inches from the uh, from the front edge of the floorboard. So I'm going to be somewhere in somewhere in this area and actually put the holes on the six inch mark. So and it looks like it's like hinges should be uh, it should be flush to the edge. So I'm just going to come in here and uh, okay. 
myself a line here. And then what I'm going to do is use the uh, exact same procedure that I did before. Um, I'm going to line this up where it goes, and then I'm going to hold it. I'm actually going to need edge of my inch. <clears throat> It'll be easier to line up than trying to look at the holes. So I got the uh, rudder pedals all um, all in place here. Um, so those are really good. They're a little bit stiff at the moment just because I, those hinge pins need to come out um, and the size of them needs to be adjusted a little bit so that you can get uh, cotter pins um, in each of these sides. So I'm gonna put that back in and uh, we got the Hinging all done, which is awesome. Got that all figured out. Um, we got this done. And so, yeah, that's going to be it for me um, for this episode. But, hey, if you're not a subscriber, I invite you to hit the subscribe button and a little bell so you don't miss any of these episodes if you're interested in following along. And, uh, hey, I'll catch you later. Bye.